Hey, I'm Sebastian, and I'm the founder of the Exceptionally Hard and Soft Meeting. The Exceptionally Hard and Soft Meeting is a conference about the frontiers of open source and do-it-yourself technologies. It's rooted in the hackerspace movement, and we want to basically close the gap between what hackerspaces do and the, what the industry is doing. So we are showcasing the most advanced projects that people build in hackerspaces, in their garage, or as open source projects as a team. The next edition of the Exceptionally Hard and Soft Meeting is taking place in June 27 to 29 at uh, DESI, the second largest particle accelerator in Europe. It's going to be three days of impressive presentations in the main auditorium and hands-on workshop in parallel with the main track. Please come meet and connect with the community. So if your children are interested in building nuclear reactors or playing with high voltage or playing with radiation, know what they're going to be doing. Make sure that they don't put themselves into a really dangerous situation. Um, this is the, the vacuum chamber here. Uh, you can see the diffusion pump mounted beneath it right here, which is a, a high vacuum pump. The gas system is right here. High voltage power supply, roughing pump for the vacuum a neutron detector here, and then a pressure gauge and a high-voltage probe right there. So all in all, we have seen that relying on people, that uh, individuals that uh, design in their own corners, or relying on companies that may decide to change uh, their uh, policies without any notice, has ended up in costing us a lot in terms of time and money. And uh, it's uh, in a world like this that uh, open hardware enters and makes sense. It comes with the idea of making everything we design uh, freely and openly available for it to be studied, modified, distributed, made or sold. Hello, can you tell us more about fun? The fact that you know that you're not alone. Okay, so let's take a look at some images here. So here's the chicken with the Allen key. Here's a bottle of isopropanol. In this case, I'm CTing a cardboard box, but later you'll see it's actually a chicken. So here's what the collected data looks like. Now you have to couple it to a 3D uh, printer or something. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what did you think? <laughs> so that's the next step. I'm not sure what you would do with a 3D printed chicken. But... The trigger circuit actually took me a long time to work because there's a lot of noise going on. Um, and then of course you get bored, right? You're like, oh, I shot an apple like 10 times. What happens if I put a Q-tip in the air rifle? Well, it turns out it goes supersonic. All technology is accessible and all technology is based in reality. And it's something that is within our grasp, whether we choose to say, that's too hard for me, I can't do it, or yeah, let's bring it on, take it on. It's all about your attitude.